forever since I've done a tag video. Hello and welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm going to be doing the book series tag. Uh, this is a new tag that was created by my buddy uh, over at Books with Bengus Khan. And uh, he tagged me and a bunch of people in this. And I thought about it. I'm like, I it has been a really long time. I don't do tags much anymore. So I'm like, why not? We'll jump back in and we'll do this one. Because uh, this one's talking about different uh, series and books of different numbers uh, going up. And so let's jump in. So first, we have uh, a standalone here. Uh, and so... the. I had a few options here, and so the, most of the ones I had a hard time with, I feel like were ones that would be harder. But so, going for like general standalone, you know, we gotta we gotta talk about Count of Monte Cristo. Always mention one of, if not my, just favorite novel of all time. So I absolutely love. But I, I grabbed something from sci-fi and fantasy too, because I have some other great ones, uh, including Project Hail Mary. Uh, probably not much of a surprise. Uh, I I absolutely love this book. The the audio specifically because I will never I'll, I own this, but I will never actually physically read it because I love the audio so much. But just a great time. Broke man of our reading slump. Just fantastic. Uh, wonderful, wonderful sci-fi book. And then I figured I'd jump out and grab Dark Moon by David Gemmell for the fantasy because I was thinking of standalones off the top of my head, and I loved this book. This was so good, which I expected with David Gemmell. Uh, has a, just a lot of unique elements, so much world building, so much done in a pretty short standalone too. Uh, something he just is really, really great at. So for number two uh, is a duology. And I was really struggling to find like a favorite duology because I read almost none. And this would have been Quest for Heroes, first book, Coward, but I don't think the warrior should have even existed. And I only own this one anymore. I got rid of the warrior because... Uh, I did not care for that book at all. Uh, so that one doesn't count. So I went with one that I want to read and that I think uh, I will enjoy, uh, which is The Wizard Knight, which this is a, a collection of The Knight and The Wizard. So is a duology by Gene Wolfe. I've yet to read any Gene Wolfe, but he, I have several of his books and I've heard really great things. Uh, and so I'm, I'm excited to get to this. I don't know when it's going to be, uh, but it's one definitely I'm looking forward to and I think that I will really enjoy so for Trilogy, uh, that one it was kind of hard because there are so many, but when looking at my favorite series of all time, my number two favorite series of all time, and as of my last update, is Trilogy, which is Memory, Sour, and Thorn. This is book two, Stone at Farewell, because I love this original hardcover cover, uh, and I love this series so much. Now, size-wise, is it really a trilogy? It definitely could have been four, maybe five books, uh, if it had been split up differently for sure, but it is technically a trilogy, uh, and so counts for this list. Uh, number four, a quadrilogy or quartet in this case, which gives you a clue as to what I have here. It's also pretty easy just looking at uh, my, my top series list. It has a long price quartet on it by Daniel Abraham. This was fantastic. And this, which is like, this is all four books. And this is, you know, pretty long, but I have many books that are single volumes that are longer than this. So what Daniel Abraham was able to do with the story that just built and built and built and all came back to just all about the details and long-term impacts. Absolutely beautiful. So pretty easy pick there as well. Now for a five book series, we're starting to get to an area where I've definitely read less five book series. Uh, but one that I read and really, really enjoyed was Lightbringer by Brent Weeks. This is the last book in the series, The Burning Lights, so book five. Uh, and this is, it's not on my, it's not on my favorite of all time list. Uh, but it, it's, it got like an honorable mention, I think, previously, because really, really enjoyed this. It did do some things that I wasn't a huge fan of, but I think it gets way too much flack. Uh, and it was a really, really fun series, really cool magic, really good characters. Uh, so I think, Definitely makes sense and is a good fit for a uh, five book series. Now for six, this is the first spot I had a lot of trouble with. And so I decided to kind of cheat. Uh, and then after I, re I, I realized after picking all this out and making my list uh, <laughs> that I didn't include something else that I probably could have. But so I decided to go with uh, the combination of Broken Empire and Red Queen's War. This is Prince of Thorns' first book of Broken Empire. And this is by uh, Red Queen's War Omnibus. And so... These are two trilogies, uh, and they are not technically uh, like part of the same series, uh, but they happen kind of simultaneously uh, and are very interconnected. And so it's it's kind of like a, a trilogy and a companion trilogy. So I'm counting it because finding a six book series uh, that I've read and really liked was actually really hard. 
And uh, feel free, I'll note even now in the comments, if, I, if there are really obvious ones I missed for any of these, let me know, because I'm sure there were some. But oddly enough, from here, getting in the bigger ones, I had no trouble at all. Because when you get to number seven, which is a seven book series, very, very easy. I knew immediately it was going to be Crown of Stars. This is book seven, which is also called Crown of Stars, uh, which I grabbed here. And uh, this is a gritty medieval epic fantasy uh, seven book series. And it, it is long and it is kind of slower, which is definitely my thing, but not for everybody. But I've been just, you know, harping how much I absolutely love uh, this series so much. And so really, really easy pick for me here, Crown of Stars. All right, and then we have eight. And uh, eight book series is something that should be kind of hard. And this this is maybe cheating, but it will eventually have eight books. So I went with the Collation Saga uh, by Andrew D. Meredith here. This is the first book, Deathless Beast. The sequel is out, Bone Trout, and there will be six more books in this series. And I can't wait because I will be like the first person to read all of them. Uh, these books and the Collation Saga in general have just become... Uh, some new favorites for me. I love the way Andrew D. Meredith writes his storytelling in the books, which is kind of focus on the storytelling. Uh, just wonderful stories. These are definitely uh, things I recommend. His other series, Needle and Leaf, uh, has a little bit lower bar for entry just to try out. But uh, his Collation Saga is just is the perfect series for me. Uh, something that I, I very much love. Uh, moving on to number nine. <clears throat> so this is also, this series is eight books out there's supposed to be a ninth, and there may or may not be, but it does technically have nine books, which is the Rune Lord series by David Farland. This is book two, Brotherhood of the Wolf, and I'm still reading this now. I have read uh, the first five books, and so I still have a few left here, uh, but this is just a, a wonderfully... Uh, fun and interesting and fascinating series, and one I don't ever really hear getting talked about, so it's been really fun going through and reading this and doing a buddy read uh, with a few others. The magic system is so unique, and the world building is fantastic, and it's just the further you get in, the deeper you go and the more you explore, and I just love doing that in a book with magic and on all of the stuff that we're exploring. I have been having a really great time uh, going through. I can't wait to finish, and I do hope we get a, the, the posth posthumous uh, ninth book at some point, because I... I when I get there, I imagine I'm really going to want to read book nine. So we'll see you there. Uh, and then uh, number 10, so a, a 10 book series, also was very, very easy for me. Uh, something that has a real chance to, to become the new favorite all time The Wars of Light and Shadow. This is the first book, Curse of the Mystery, by, uh, this is by Jamie Wirtz. And uh, this series technically has 10 books. Uh, the 10th book is coming out here soon ish. Uh, and the second book, Ships of Maria, which is that beefy uh, blue one over there, uh, was split into two books uh, in other formats, but the hardcovers um, are, it's 10 bucks, so I'm still counting it as 10. Uh, so that's my 10 book pick there. And then 11, which is a series that's even bigger, uh, which also was probably should have been harder, but it was not, because uh, I have some favorite series in here uh, that were really easy to pick. First, now you're expecting it, Wheel of Time, 14 books, a prequel, an encyclopedia, all kinds of other stuff. I love it. I did a reread uh, not long ago, and I uh, just still loved it. did a, a video for every book, which is something I'd always wanted to do, and I uh, just had a great time. So still love me some Wheel of Time. Uh, also, though, we have the really, really big series, which is Discworld, and I grabbed a random one. This is Soul Music, which was a really fun one that looked like classic rock, and I'm still working my way through Discworld. I am nearing the halfway point, actually, of Discworld. I've been reading the publication order, and uh, while not everyone's a winner for me, there's been so many that I've just really, really enjoyed, and so I've had a lot of fun with Discworld. Uh, there's just nothing else quite like Terry Pratchett, and so uh, it's a really fun time. And then the other one that I'm still reading as well is Drenai, the Drenai Saga by David Gemmell. This is uh, one of my favorites, Quest for Lost Heroes, uh, and uh, I heroic fantasy at its finest. Um, Gemmel has just, he's, he hasn't written a book that I've read so far that I haven't really enjoyed. I've just yet to be had any disappointments from him. So I'm really excited to keep reading Drudai and I uh, keep reading his other stuff as well. Uh, so there we go. Those are, those are my picks, uh, for all the ones in this tag. Now, uh, 
he tagged a lot of people in the original one, and I don't remember who all was tagged or not, so I'm not going to tag anyone specifically, uh, but if you're watching this and you have not done it or you're not already been tagged, consider yourself tagged. Uh, let me know if you do it, because uh, this was this was a really fun idea to, to look at different series. It really got me thinking, because like I said, some of these were harder than I thought. Like I said, let me know if there are any obvious ones I missed, or uh, if you have some uh, picks you think should have won uh, as well. Always fun to see that in the comments. Make sure to give the video a like if you enjoyed it. Check the link in the description, as always, for the Wizardly Duo Discord, if you want to chat books, with these books, other books, any books, really anything at all. It's a lot of fun, and we would love to have you. And of course, if you enjoy my content, make sure to subscribe. <laughs>